So what I would like to do is to show you how Kickstart works inside of uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, uh, specifically version 7.2. I've got uh, VMware ESXi running with a bunch of virtual machines in it. One virtual machine that I have is the Linux uh, host that's going to be hosting my NFS server. I'm going to be getting my Kickstart file stored on the NFS server on the Red Hat Linux box. So here is my uh, Linux machine and I'm going to show you where my NFS server is. And uh, if I just do a service NFS status, you will see that I've got NFS services running here. And if I show you that my exports file in the etc directory my etc directory exports file contains ks data is where it's pointing at uh, and ks data is a directory that if I do ks data you'll see this is where my ks cfg file is the kickstart file can be created uh, or uh, created by utilizing the kickstart utility uh, or by doing it manually. So I've got this sitting here. On my Windows server, I have a DHCP server created on my Windows box, so that's why that's sitting there. And right now, this particular Windows box does not have any IP addresses handed out. I'm just using it for the purposes of DHCP and DNS at the moment. I don't need it to do that. Uh, I could certainly use a Linux-based DHCP server. So I'm going to click on my Windows machine, I, my uh, ESXi box, and I'm going to create a brand new VM. And this VM, I'm going to call it KS Demo. And this KS Demo VM is going to be the one that's going to uh, grab the KS data, uh, the KS file from the KS data NFS share on my Linux box. And I'm just going to point it to the startup DVD here, which is the Linux based startup DVD. I'm going to ISO this and select that. Click OK. Connect that box. Click over here. Make this one gig. I don't need it to be any bigger than that. And click Finish. Click right over here in KS Demo. Power this box on and open up my console so I can see what's happening. I can select. I'm just going to go up to where it says Install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.2. Tab into that. Do a ks equals nfs colon, point it to where my nfs server is, and that's right there. Specify the ks cfg file. So nfs is the key that I'm using to tell it that I am going to be using the nfs server for the kickstart file. ks is the keyword that I need to add. nfs colon, nfs server is the DNS name for the nfs server. Colon slash kscfg is really sitting in the ks data directory. There we go. And I'm going to press enter. And off it goes. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, it says root password is set. Administrator account will, account will be created. And that's it. That is the kickstart installation on hold.